Some folks just have to make a new gag Get out your binders and start to connect The pieces of the puzzle you'll get it on quick Just remember all what to select First we go over the Pokemon line Treat your attacker and it'll be fine Add some support and start to combine A combo win, no no time Then we put in some energy Don't go for board like a team that you see Average of 12 works out for me Consistency, yes totally key Now we put in some draw support Cynthia Lily, you add in a lot That drag sucks so we serve the resort to top Lily GX, yup, finally The item cards, ultra ball shirts Goes real hard, choice one leaves The opponent's card and rare can he get to the stage on board Ha! Yeah! Episode 189 How to make a attack Sun and Moon on Sha! What's up YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here and thanks again for watching our TCG episode on my channel. In this episode I'm going to show you how to create a deck from scratch and it's going to be Sun and Moon onwards. The rotation uh, took place on the 1st of September and in this uh, practical video I'm going to show you how I personally make a deck. I have of course my valuable stuff in here and uh, there's also some playable stuff in here that might become playable in the near future. Alright, let's start with the first binder. This is an Ultra Pro binder. I definitely recommend this one. We have, of course, the uh, the one with the four slots and this is going to be the three slots, as you can see, divided here. We have nine cards that you can fit in one page and there's going to be divided by three slots, so that's cool. We have uh, everything uh, sorted by type, so everything that might become playable or is uh, a little bit playable but not seen that much in decks is in here, so that is uh, very nice to make decks with like things like Scepter might pop up out of nowhere, as we've seen from the video from yesterday, so I'm just gonna put this video, uh, actually this is, uh, binder on the front here so you can see there's a lot of things in here like Empoleon, uh, things like Raichu with the paralysis, even Pessimium pops out here so as you can see a lot of things even the supporters are all in here things like special energies a lot of special energies are in here as well. We have uh, everything we need to make decks with. I definitely think you, if you want to make a, a, a post-rotation content format here, or actually a deck, that you definitely have to get rid of all the cards that are expanded or not from the Sun and Moon era. You can easily do that by just checking the sets out. Uh, things like Elite Trainer boxes do come with, of course, the set list, and that uh, way you know they are all from the Sun and Moon uh, era. You also see them by the style, so uh, that is interesting to see here. Also, stadium cards, etc. So that is that little binder. And, uh, and the other binder, this is where the best things are. I definitely take a good note on every tournament that takes place and everything that is playable, I actually uh, just put in this ginormous binder. We have also Ultra Pro, Ultra Pro binder and uh, this is divided by four slots. So as you can see, everything I sleeve in the exact same yellow sleeve so it's easy to make decks with. So I'm just gonna scroll over this uh, binder. As you can see, we have uh, grass again, sorted by type, the CGY. We have some fire over here. Don't think everything fits on the screen right here. Okay, now we have a little bit of everything. We have ho oh so Lazzles, we have Wishy Washies even, uh, things like the Tapu Koko. We have uh, a lot of Psychic, Necrozma, Banette, Nagnadel, Molomar, all the good stuff you've seen at tournaments is sleeved in this binder. We have Boswell, Lycanroc, Lucario, Marshadow, things like Metal, uh, there's a lot of Metal nowadays. There are also Scissor, there's just everything that saw a little bit of success is in this binder and that's, uh, that's why it's really easy for me to make decks. And in this video, I'm also gonna try and make a Rayquaza deck because I like Rayquaza. We're gonna make a Rayquaza deck from scratch and as you see all the supporters are coming after the uh, playable uh, Pokemon line. So we have Cynthia, draw supporters here. We have Judge, Lily, Copycat. So a lot of draw supporters to choose from. We have things like Hala, Kukui even, Astro Wola. All the good supporters that I saw a little bit of su tournament success are in this uh, fantastic binder. It took a lot of uh, uh, years and uh, yeah, uh, money actually just to make a binder like this. So we have every thing. I, I do like Secret Rare so at least there's one Secret Rare of everything I like. So we have crushing hammers, all the good stuff, even stadium cards, special energies, and then uh, all the uh, energies you wish for, they're all holographic. So this is the binder I usually work with to make deck with. So let's go from scratch and make our, uh, just choose our main attacker here. In this situation, I'm just gonna get out four Aquaza GX because our Aquaza GX is kind of good. 180 HP deals more damage depending on how many energies we have in play. So now that we have that aside, let's just put this binder like this and put our main attacker up front. So four copies of the Rayquaza. Uh, we're just gonna start with the Pokemon lines first and then we're gonna end up with the items and supporters and all the good stuff like that. So Rayquaza GX is kind of a neat Pokemon, but we do need an alternate attacker because nowadays Shrine of Punishment is everywhere. So we're gonna get an alternate attacker out and that's going to be Delmice. We're also gonna get two copies of the Delmice because Delmice does hit for weakness against Lycanroc GX and also has 130 HP, gets rid of things like, uh, yeah, it has 130 HP and deals 130 damage, which means we can get rid of things like Baby Boswell or Shining Lugia with the Shrine 
Shrine decks being popular. So what else might we possibly need? I'm just gonna scroll over a bunch of Pokemon and see what we can uh, take from here. I actually saw in the beginning we had a little bit of Grubbin here. As you know, Grubbin evolves into a Vikavolt and Vikavolt is something we'll need, of course, to just start making uh, the deck viable because Vikavolt gets energies from the deck immediately and uh, that way Rayquaza has enough energies to deal damage with. Let's see what else we might possibly want. <laughs> There's also the Alolan Beacon. Vika Alolan Beacon with Vulpix. Uh, actually, Alolan Vulpix with the attack Beacon. Very, very solid. Here we have them, of course. We have uh, Tapu Lele's over here, so we're gonna get uh, two copies of that. I do recommend uh, every setup deck, like in this situation, we are having a stage two deck. We're gonna rely on Vikavolt and uh, the Grubbin here. Uh, I am I'm gonna include three copies of Vikavolt and three copies of Grubbin. Now you might say, oh, uh, Zabdos, you're missing a stage one line. Well, that doesn't even matter too much here because uh, we are gonna rely on Rare Candy. More on that later. Uh, that way we can skip the stage one entirely. And Tapu Lele is needed in almost every setup deck. So everything that is a stage two or a stage one can rely on Tapu Lele for the setup. So that's what we're gonna include in uh, our deck for now. I'm just gonna scroll. Maybe a third Tapu Lele would be nice. Also gonna uh, look over some psychic deck cards because Mysterious Treasure is also something that we're gonna use in this deck. Yeah, maybe Marsh Shadow. Marsh Shadow is just like a, a, one of those abilities that just, it's just like a judge. You can just disrupt the opponent's hand early game. I do love the inclusion of that. So we're gonna put one copy of Marsh Shadow in here. We're also gonna scroll over some more cards. We have, um, of course, we need energies, which we're gonna do uh, I think we're gonna do that first actually. So we are just gonna scroll over the Pokemon line, see if I can just include something. We have tech cards like Oranguru, which are nice. Uh, which lets you draw cards. If you don't have Tapu Lele, definitely include a copy of Oranguru to draw some cards. As you can see here, Oranguru. I might include it in this version, but we're gonna wait uh, until we're having more uh, knowledge of what we're gonna put in the deck. Okay, moving forward, energies. Uh, how many basic energies does a, a standard post-rotation deck usually have? I think between, uh, it all depends on your deck personally, I think it's between 9 or 15 energies depending on the deck. 15 is a little bit on the high side, not a lot of decks run that unless like you're running something like a Magnezone deck that has energy acceleration. We do have energy acceleration, so I think the number would be 14 for a Quasar. We're also gonna have, of course, that Stormy Winds ability. We're just we're gonna take 14 energy. So for your deck, if you're uh, having a Zoroark deck and relying on the double card as energy, I think uh, running around 9 to 10 energies at the maximum is good for you. So uh, in my deck, energy Energy acceleration decks usually run more. Things like Molomor run about 10 energies. Things like uh, Magnezone run about 12, 13, it all depends. So we're gonna put those energies right here. I know it's a little bit clunky just we're setting up, but we need of course access to the binder first before we can do anything else. And the binder has to be of course in the video. So you have a little bit of knowledge on what we're getting out. So uh, gonna get some lightning energies and some grass energy. So seven of each because Rokweza needs grass and he needs uh, uh, lightning energies to attack with. And Vikavolt gets, yeah, yeah, goodly enough. We get those energies straightly out of the deck thanks to that ability, Strong Charge of Vikavolt. So we're gonna have seven Lightning energies and seven Grass energies. So that is that. Okay, now that we have our energy set up, we have our Pokemon line. We usually have between like uh, 30 or even more uh, slots available for trainer supporters, stadiums, etc. So we're gonna go through the binder once again and we are gonna get, of course, our supporters. Now comes the good part. We need supporters that draw scars. Cynthia is the best draw supporter of the entire post rotation format in the standard format. So we're gonna get uh, three copies uh, of that because we're also gonna stick in some Voltners, which is sometimes better than a Cynthia early game. Uh, you, in, in most cases, you will have four copies of Cynthia in your deck. So for now, I'm just gonna take three copies of the Cynthia. I'm, I'm just gonna put them all aside right here. I'm just gonna divide them and just gonna scroll over the, the binder what we need. Titan Lies also a great draw supporter, but we're not gonna include that in here. We're also gonna rely on Lily. I do uh, uh, recommend adding one or two copies of Judge if you don't have access to Marshadow, that could be a thing. So in this situation, get it, just gotta get out two Lilies as draw support. We have Copycat, which is also a very great supporter. If uh, the opponent has a lot of cards in their hand, might be great. Sophocles, if you want to discard some cards in their hand, like think about Molomor decks. Kukui, if you do want to deal more damage, but Rokoiza deals enough damage as it is. So Acer Wall, if you want to have healing. Great and uh, of course decks that rely on uh, just one attachment. Uh, that things like Zoroark are very great with Acer Wola, things like Galisapod, etc. Pokemon Fan Club is kind of great in a Rayquaza deck, but I do love adding some other stuff in the deck. We're just gonna go with four uh, Guzmas right here because Guzma can target everything we possibly want. We have a high retreat cost, so that could be like our switching me me mechanic as well as targeting something we want. So we're gonna add in those. Just gonna scroll over a bit. Uh, everything is sorted here. We have things that draw cards, some healing cards, some energy cards. 
Uh, even Apricorn Maker could be nice in this deck, but I'm not too sure about it. So let's just scroll over. We have Lady to get energy in the hand. And here is Voltner. So Voltner is very great in the Rayquaza Vika Volt list because you can get your Nest Ball and of course an energy or your Mysterious Treasure or whatever item you want with Voltner. And it's easy searchable thanks to Chapo Lele. So that's fantastic. So that is all for the supporter line. So uh, uh, up next, we're just gonna get the item cards out of the way. Uh, first things first, Ultra Ball. Almost every single deck has four copies of Ultra Ball. Be, uh, take a note of that. And also, as you, if you noticed, we had like five, eight, 12 uh, the supporters in our deck. Usually it's between 12 or 15 draw supporters. Actually not draw supporters, supporters entirely. And uh, definitely eight draw supporters and a couple of Tapu Lele in your deck. Okay, four copies of Ultra Ball is gonna be a must. Then uh, for Nest Ball, you could run four copies to get your grub in early game, but we also need Mysterious Treasure to get Pokemon out. So two copies of Nest Ball will do the trick together with two copies of Mysterious Treasure. So cannot fit everything entirely on the screen, but uh, you'll definitely get the, the, the key of what's going on here. So as you see, we scroll through all the items and see what might be viable. Field Blower is great to get rid of some uh, annoying Shrine of Punishments, but we already have one price attacking down mice for that. Acrobat is very great for a speedy Rayquaza build, max potion just to heal off your Pokemon, don't think it will be that necessary. One copy of Switch is nice, you can just switch uh, your active Pokemon if you have a Voltner as well, so you can just search that out. Uh, what else? Four copies of Rare Candy. That is what I, I, want, I wanted to come to is that if you're running a stage two deck, you definitely need four copies or at least three or four copies of a Rare Candy. Rare Candy, make sure that you can just skip the stage one and uh, in a fast format like this, you can go straightly onto your Vika Vault in my case. So I'm gonna put in four copies of the Rare Candy. Moving forward. Uh, disruption, maybe some hammers, don't think I need that. Definitely need some energy recyclers because sometimes if a Rayquaza goes down, he takes a lot of energies with it and uh, that way we can just recover those energies and reattach them immediately with Vikavolt. Same goes for Rescue Stretcher, Rayquaza with Stormy Wind sometimes discards crucial things like an entire Vikavolt line, that happened before. With Rescue Stretcher you can get everything back, so that's fantastic. So two copies of those, we'll make sure even if we use Stormy Winds we can have some uh, recovery. So put those aside, then Choice Band, maybe two or three. Depends. Some decks uh, like to run uh, four copies of Choice Band, other decks will like three. Uh, I think two is just enough. We have access to, to the Choice Bands with Voltner, so that's why there's three copies of Voltners in here. I'm just gonna get those Choice Band. Then for the Stadium card of Choice, the Power Field could be nice to just deal some extra damage. Special Energies, I don't think we'll need that, so let's just see how many cards uh, we have. Usually I just want to have more cards than 60. And then, the, then we just tin out. So let's do the same like this. So we're gonna have a scape rope that might be useful. We have a field blower that might be useful. Maybe a Fort Cynthia. And then we just uh, tin out the, ding, the deck. So uh, let's see how, how many cards we have at this point. Maybe one copy of Judge. So let's just leave it like this and then we tin out. Actually, the ones that I got out are actually the extra ones. But most of the times, if you don't know the deck list uh, out of your head, I definitely know the deck list out of my head for Rayquaza Vicavolt. But I just uh, add in cards like until I have 60, 60 65, 70 cards and then I just thin out and cut what I don't want to have. So in this situation we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're just gonna get all these cards and we are just gonna stack them over here. Let's just count the number up. We have 14 energies. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. That means we have 31 uh, trainer cards. Let's see if that is correct. So first things first. We're gonna have our supporters that we're gonna lay out. We're gonna have, of course, the main draw supporter of the deck. It is going to be Cynthia, and there's going to be four copies of that. Let's see if I can find them all that I didn't shuffle everything up. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Uh, okay, then copies of Lily, Guzmas. Yeah, everything has been put into place, so let's go. Okay, four copies of Cynthia. We can uh, have uh, 31 cards, so we have four copies of Cynthia. We're gonna have two copies of Lily, that makes six. Then uh, four copies of the uh, mentioned Guzma to target everything we want, turns it into 10. Then three copies of Voltner, turns it into 13. Then to the item cards, the item cards are something else, right? And there's a lot of them. We're uh, firstly gonna start, of course, with the main card that is in every Sun and Moon Onwards deck, and that's Ultra Ball. Okay, 13, and then we come to uh, 17 with Ultra Ball inclusion. Next up is going to be Nest Ball. Nest Ball, two copies of that will turn into, uh, so we have 13, 17, 19. Moving forward, two copies of the Mysterious Treasure. 
will turn into 21. Moving forward, the rare candies, which are a must, we're gonna turn into 25. Then we're gonna have, of course, our rescue stretchers. It's 27. Moving forward, our energy recyclers, 29. And then our choice bands, 31. Then we have three extra cards here. So in this situation, uh, we have to cut three cards. You can cut maybe uh, the field blower since you already have the one prize attacker. So let's just cut the field blower. Then we have to make an option between switch and escape rope. Escape rope is very nice just to have that uh, attack out of nowhere. The opponent also has to switch and will make it so they have a, a very awkward situation ahead of them. So that could be crazy, but uh, switch is also nice to just switch out whenever we feel like and that could be a er nice early game. So I'm gonna get, uh, cut the escape rope here. So that's how I usually make decks, uh, just have more than 60 cards and then 10 out. Then we only need to cut one more card and as I mentioned before, it was of course the Cynthia in this particular deck. You could also cut one copy of the Voltner if uh, you find that better for working for you, but I think Voltner gets everything. Early game, top related Voltner, you can get a Nest Ball or a later game, you can get a Rare Candy, a Switch if need be, a Choice Band, everything can get be, can be searched out with Voltner. And of course with Mysterious Treasure, top related, you have access to all of your items. As soon as you have a Mysterious Treasure, you have access to all of your items. So that's how we make decks post-rotation. Just make your binders, get rid of all your stuff of Expanded, put that in a different binder. This is just a video for the standard format and uh, how you create decks. So we also have, of course, access to the other binder that I mentioned, but that is just for some rogue deck ideas, like, of course, Pacinian and all that stuff. So uh, usually just put everything in a large binder, put everything in the same uh, exact sleeve. So it's very easy for you to make decks with. And that's it for another episode on my channel. I hope you enjoyed uh, me making a request, a Vic of list. If if you did, be sure to demolish the like button. Let me know how you make deck lists and let me know what you think about the way I uh, organize my cards in the binders. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day. Uh, thanks again for watching. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. If you wanna go and test a deck that isn't played a lot in this format, then listen to what I'll say. Hey, if you wanna go and try it out with me, let me know how it does in a tournament. I think it could be really great. Hey, new decks are Chilling on Sundays, while new ideas pop in my brain. Where